Alright guys, so one thing that's really critical on a cylinder head is the installed height of the spring or where the spring sits. The valve spring has to exert the correct amount of pressure on the camshaft in order for the valve to open and close correctly and, and for the cam and, the, and to maintain control. The valve spring actually controls the valve and keeps it from bouncing and oscillating. So the spring installed height is literally where the spring sits when it's installed on the head. So in order to measure that, I have a special mic here that you're going to be using. This is called a spring installed height gauge. And what it does is it literally goes on the cylinder head and it takes the place of your valve spring. The nice thing about this tool is we put our retainer on it and it reads just like a micrometer. I know we all know how to read a mic. It has a scale on it very much like a micrometer and it reads in thousandths of an inch. So we just put our tool on the head and we literally replace our valve spring or where the valve spring normally sits with our spring installed height gauge. We run the gauge out and we read the gauge just like a micrometer. Now if we put the gauge on here and our space here is too big, in other words sometimes when you grind a valve or do a valve job or valve, valves wear and seats wear, you'll find that the, the height here will be too high and if the spring is not installed at the right height, in other words it's too tall, the spring is, gonna not, is not going to be exerting the right amount of pressure and it can lose control of the valve. So if the valve spring is not at the right height, we measure it and then what we do is we're going to take and we're going to put shims underneath it. You'll see, if you look on this head here, we have some gold shims down here. We've shimmed these and we have different thicknesses of shims. So we're going to check it and then we're going to shim it and we're going to recheck it again till we get to our specified height. The specified height on a small block Chevy is 1 inch 700 thousandths. So we need to be around 1 inch 700 thousandths plus or minus maybe 10 or 15 thousandths at the most. So that is spray installed height. It's very simple, but it's something you have to do to every one of your valves.